building here on Sunset where the Riders Guild are walking the picket lines. Jessica. Okay, Rich, appreciate that. Thank you. Two people have been hospitalized after an LAPD transit officer shot and wounded a man who attacked two people at a metro station, stabbing one of them. A witness captured this video in an East Hollywood parking lot showing the suspect reaching for a knife. Officers opened fire when the suspect ran toward one of the officers. Police say this followed an assault and a stabbing at the Metro Red Lines Vermont Beverly Station. The suspect was allegedly involved in a physical altercation with a woman on the platform. When someone tried to intervene, witnesses say he ran onto the street where he stabbed a man in the neck. They ask him many, many times, just drop down the knife and lie on the ground, and, uh, and then he, he tried to run away. Officers gave commands. Suspect produced the knife, and an officer-involved shooting occurred. At this time, we don't know the relationships or the motives. The unidentified suspect and the wounded victim are both hospitalized in stable condition. Terrifying moment here caught on camera. A local nurse stalked and threatened by a homeless man inside of a Subway sandwich shop. The woman says she begged workers for help, but says they did nothing. KTLA's Mary Beth. A Long Beach woman says she feared for her life when a homeless man went after her inside a Culver City subway shop and continued to threaten her. Halima Othman tells us she first spotted him outside the restaurant located on Sepulveda Boulevard near Venice, about a block away from a homeless encampment. This man says some things to me and then he starts talking about a hitman. He's I owe him money, called me Carol or something. And I was like, this man is deranged. She says it was in mid-March about 3 p.m. when she went into the subway to order food and noticed the man had followed her. So I'm backing up into a corner and I'm like, what do you want from me? Like, I don't have anything for you. He's calling me Carol. I owe him money. He's going to get a hitman after me. He's going to shoot me. His hands behind his back. I think it's a gun. Hoffman tells us she begged the employees to help her while she took cover behind a chip rack. I, I was begging, like I was begging them. And then I was like, oh, I'm actually, I'm probably going to die. But she says they just watched and continued to make sandwiches. They look at me, don't do anything. I'm like, please call 911, do something, nothing. Like, then I just realized, oh, I'm on my own. She then hopped over the counter to escape him. I, he was reaching for me. I pushed him with chip rack, jumped over the counter, and the employees yelled at me and told me to get out. As she called 911, he apparently finally walked away. Just, I can't believe that they, they didn't even help me. She continued to make sandwiches. She looks up and continues to make the sandwich as if that's more important. And as a travel nurse working at County USC Hospital, she says she sees mentally ill people often and puts her life on the line every day to save them. And I usually know how to de-escalate situations, but with him, there was just, there was no doing that. As Offman looks back at the video, she is still stunned that the employees did nothing to help her. I really want this to have a ripple effect on people um, to just do better and help each other, help protect each other. Mary Beth McDade, KTLA 5 News. All right, new at nine, two managers at a California Big Lots are out of a job after trying to recover store property from a thief. Happened last month at a Big Lots in Bakersfield. A customer apparently loaded his shopping cart with 15 jugs of Tide laundry detergent and headed straight for the door. Two Big Lots managers followed him out, but not to detain or confront him. Instead, they were just trying to get the shopping cart back after the thief was finished. Two managers recorded the thief with their phones and the suspect climbed out of the car and ran away. A week later, both managers were fired. It's still unclear what Big Lots policy is regarding situations like these. They've not commented on the matter. Nordstrom planning to close both of its stores in downtown San Francisco this summer. Retailer says it will allow its lease to expire inside of the Westfield Mall after being in operation for 35 years. Company cites changing dynamics for the closures, saying business remains slow as the city struggles to recover from the pandemic. Westfield Mall says Nordstrom's closure is the latest example of, quote, the deteriorating situation in downtown San Francisco. In addition to rising costs, crime rates in the city also up. San Francisco's flagship Whole Foods store shut down last month after being hit with 560 calls of violence and drugs over the past year. 
Oh, we tried to give them the most upbeat leads ah. imaginable. <laughs> Hell class.